Hey guys, it's Graham here coming with another RC YouTube video and today I got a pretty long awaited video. This car has been on my channel since I started the thing, but I've never made a full video on it. So today I want to introduce to you guys my 58 Chevy Impala made by Radio Shack back in 2003. Now to say this car is cool is an understatement guys. This is a 2003 lowrider from Radio Shack and check this out it has functioning hydraulics that's just insane guys and working headlights check out some of the details guys this is a 12 scale body and it is an exact replica of a 58 Chevy Impala look at that so this RC controller has four switches and does uh, front, back, up, and down, all four wheels, even while driving. So this car has full chrome moldings all the way around on the visor. It has real wire uh, spoked wheels. So it has a white over uh, turquoise paint scheme, which is really cool. And we zoom in here. It actually has a uh, 283 uh, cubic inch. V8 topped with a chrome il air filter, which is pretty freaking sick, if I do say so myself. Just when you didn't think it could get any cooler, you can pop the trunk and the hood. And sitting in the trunk are two Pesco aircraft pumps. Um, and they have a full set of batteries. It looks like a real old schooler um, uh, hydraulic setup, which is just so sick. Let's go ahead and hit those switches. Look at that. So like I said, back in the day, you could find this car at Radio Shack. I actually got mine secondhand from a neighbor who passed away, sadly. Um, but he was really into model cars, especially older classics and lowriders. So he ended up giving me this. Uh, this is actually a real sponsored car by Lowrider Magazine back in the day in 2003. Uh, so they only made three different models of these. The 64, the 67, and the 58, which is what you're staring at right now. Um, apparently, the 58 has the coolest controller, but I think it's the uh, 64 or 60. I think it's the 67 that has the better hydraulics. You can actually go left, right, up, down, and stuff like that. This is just up, down. Still really, really neat. And here's a kicker, guys. Back in the day, this car cost $69.99, brand new. <laughs> brand new in the box, you got this. For something like this nowadays, I think the Red Cat Lowrider is going for like $349.99 or something like that. <laughs> so back in the day, you can get an equivalent RC for less than half the price, which is just insane. So let's go ahead and talk about the internals, guys. I'm not really sure on the can size of the motor, but it is a brushed motor. And... Uh, I think it tops out about uh, six or seven miles an hour, maybe a little bit under that. And it runs a, <laughs> look at that, Tamea connector. Haven't seen those in forever. And this is just a uh, 9.6 volt Radio Shack battery. I actually have a an upgraded one that I bought off of Amazon. It's still 9.6 volt, but it has a better runtime, I guess, or something like that. But yeah, this is the original battery that came with it back in the day, guys. So I know what you've all been waiting for. Enough talking. Let's go ahead and get this thing off the bench. Let's go see what it can do. Mind you, I am going to be very careful with it, guys, because I don't want to break it. I wasn't going to flip this around, but the battery died, guys. So this is the battery that I bought for it. And this is the original battery. Hopefully it holds enough charge that I can show you guys some runtime. So this one uh, just died on me sadly but this is how it goes in there sadly this battery is dead too guys look at how cool that thing looks though oh yeah she's struggling that battery's done Hey, for 2003, though, <laughs> that battery is still going pretty damn strong. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like. Hit that sub button. You know there's going to be plenty more videos like this coming soon, guys. 
so stay tuned.